I think everybody's had a less sociable time recently than they had previously, and that's affected different people in different ways. Now that we were able to see each other more often, being able to catch up with friends, go outdoors, do stuff together is something that has been really rewarding and brought me back to reality. If there is anywhere to grab water, like just down here before, because I don't think we're going to get water then until we're done on the locker. But other than that, I think we should be good. My name's Simon. I manage the Fort William Ellis Brigham. I am Savannah. I am a nurse in Fort William. My name's Tom and I work for mountain bike magazines and websites. My name is Andy and I'm a store manager in Aviemore at Ellis Brigham Mountain Sports. Spending time outside with others is something I really like. The shared experience is a great way to reconnect with other people, whether it's going up and pushing your limits together and, and, and kind of finding out you know what you're capable of or whether it's just having a really nice relaxed time. The outdoors is probably the place where I've created the best memories. I think if I look back at my last 34 years of most like memorable experiences I've had, they've virtually all been in hills and in the mountains and outside, sort of the main source of, of my good stories and, and my sort of most happy memories. I feel like the outdoors massively helps me create good memories. All the good memories that I have from my childhood is spending it in the outdoors. I was going to a lot of camps where we would be just hiking 10 days straight, learning about why nature is important, why you need to preserve it, how you need to treat it, how you need to act in it. I wouldn't be the person who I am now if I, if I didn't do all of those and if it wasn't for the outdoors. I've made so many amazing friends through the outdoors and I've shared experiences with them that will last a lifetime. The word of the Hear the word cake. of Kendall. <laughs> On a hot day, there's nothing better than getting into cold, natural bodies of water and just completely decompressing. As someone who basically can't swim, it's not like, I do actually quite like getting in the water. I wouldn't call myself a wild swimmer though. Um, I, I went for more of a, a paddle and a splash than a committed swim. <laughs> Good. Midges are a man's best friend. Uh, <laughs> no, midges, midges are terrible things. Last night's dinner experience was particularly midge filled, so it was a rushed dinner. I would uh, grab a spoonful of my chicken coconut curry quickly whip back my midge net, stuff my spoon in my mouth uh, and replace the midge net as soon as humanly possible. Mmm, it's midge as well. Delicious.
Wild swimming benefits me in so many ways. Sometimes I think of it like my brain's taken out of my head and squeezed out like a sponge and then put back in. It just lifts the weight off my shoulders and makes me feel amazing and euphoric. I suppose that's why it's become so popular in such a horrendous time. I think it's all of our roles to help look after the outdoors, especially as it's becoming more and more popular. More and more people are realising how important it is to get outside and how a connection with nature is what we all need, particularly after Covid and everyone not being able to get into the outdoors. I've noticed a massive increase in people in the area, which is amazing, but I think there needs to be a definite change in how we, we approach it and how we look after it and, and just through education and teaching ourselves, teaching each other. We all just need to play a little part in looking after what we love. <laughs> the good for the soul days. Even if you feel a bit broken by the end of it, you just feel so happy and, and, and fully charged afterwards. Menus cost nothing. <laughs> you forget how nice it is to be in a group and things bantering back and forth and just the natural flow of conversation when there's a big group. It's been really nice. It's been great and what an amazing place to see your friends. I think the memories created on trips like this are all great memories, whether they're happy at the time or not, whether it's the sweltering heat or, or the midges and stuff that at the time you're not really enjoying, but afterwards you can kind of look back at, laugh on. They all create stories and they're all valuable memories.